Dear friends, this is Dr. Manish Satsangi, MD, DSPL, Lucknow, Delhi and Mumbai. We have been into medical treatment and holistic practices for last 18 years across India in different cities. And we have been treating disorders like scalp disorders, alopecia, baldness, skin disorders like psoriasis, white spots, eczema of all sorts, lifestyle disorders like arthritis, like diabetes, blood pressure, different kinds of disorders which are called autoimmune disorders. And in all these cases we have seen that it is not skin deep disorders. They are more a holistic change in the personality of a patient which results into disorders. Dear friends, our thought process affects our body, our treatment, our results. So I am going to talk to you about certain thought process which is being affected by the common myths which we carry on. These three myths which I am going to talk to you about will be very essential for you to understand and to take help of a doctor to get scalp full of hair. Number one, oiling scalp is essential. No, oiling scalp is not essential. People believe that their poor father, their father, their mother has spoken them to oil and they have not been oiling so they become more bald. No, this is not right. Oiling scalp is good in 10% of cases but in 90% of cases alopecia is a result of oiliness. A condition called seboria, a condition called seboric dermatitis. So if you apply more organic oil to seboric scalp, it is going to result in more eruption, more thinning, more baldness. Please do not apply. Number two, people believe that if they keep on shaving their scalp, they will control the baldness. They believe that tonsioning, shaving the scalp regularly will control hair loss. They don't require treatment. No dear. Regularly shaving or tonsioning the scalp is not going to help you anyway. It is going to reduce your scalp hair by 10% with each and every shaving that you do. Why? There has been a research work and there has been documented research with one of the very prestigious institute in skin which I am going to quote in my next YouTube video is that they have seen the cases which have been tonsioning which have not been taking any kind of treatment. They believe that it is going to be stabilized by the tonsioning they do. They actually lose 10% of the scalp with each and every tonsioning they do. So actually in long practice they tend to become more bald compared to a normal people who are not tonsioning but having the same hair loss. So dear friends do not tonsure, please go to doctor, reach to Dr. Sasangi's clinic, we are going to help you out. Number three myths which may affect you by influencing your approach to a doctor. You may think that you have a genetics of baldness. You believe that you have been balding because your forefather has bald so you have a full right to bald. There is nothing you can do, no dear friends, you can do everything. Genes do not decide disease. It is the environment which affects you, which decides any kind of disorders to be expressed. So even if you have a baldness, because you believe that's because of genes, please do not stop. Go and reach to us. We want to help you out. We want to restore you. Genes decides everything. We are in a process of wear and tear. With the age it comes out. But if in case it is coming below or in premature stage, please go out, speak to doctor, take help reach out to Dr. Sasangi's clinic, we are going to make sure that you have hair full of scalp. Now, what is very important for patient to understand that such thought process affects their ability to reach out to a doctor. So busting these myths after once you listen to me, I am sure that you have a new dimension to understand how the treatment to occur and what not to and what to do in all treatments across. Dear friends, from this podium, I am limited with the time scarcity. Ensure that you see my next YouTube very well.